Hello, my name is Jerome Richardson, and I am here at the Norfolk uh, Veterans Home, and we are with Bert Crum. Uh, Bert is a Marine veteran, served in Vietnam. We are here with his brother, Fred, and Fred is here to help Bert along for their memories as Bert shares his story for the military for the Nebraska Vietnam Veterans Memorial Foundation. Uh, Bert, would you like to give us your name and uh, we'll start with that and then Fred you could immediately give your name after that and then we'll just go into your story. Okay, you can tell them what's your name. Bert. Hey. Name and rank, Bert. You tell them your name and rank. Who's the guy on these uh, these photographs here? Who is that? Probably in Vietnam. That's a story about that? Yeah. Where did you, uh, before you went to the military, where did you grow up at? Omaha. In Omaha? Okay. Very neat. And uh, is that where you went to high school then? In Tech High. All right. We was in the boys' home, Omaha Home for Boys, 1960 till, well, he was in there until 68. And that was the beginning of our story. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. You know, he done good uh, things at the boys home and he was uh, always in the 4-H back then. <coughs> he enjoyed that, I recall. I think he even got some good uh, ribbons out of his calves that he oh, had wow. to show. Very good. You know what's coming up, don't you, Fred? Huh? So you know what's coming up. No, what? Birthday. Oh no. It's coming up already. Yeah. <laughs> it's that time of year again, huh? Yeah. yeah. So then, Bert, when you went into the Marine Corps, what made you decide the Marine Corps? Oh. Oh, Let it go, Dave. I'm sorry. That's all right. <clears throat> it cut me off there, so we'll start over again. That was a good start to just get. Uh, Bert warmed up a little bit. Oh no, no problem. It's kind of a little bit of a different setup, so. Good afternoon. My name is Jerome Richardson. I am with the Nebraska Vietnam Veterans Memorial Foundation. We are here today on the 13th of February 2023 at the Norfolk Nebraska Veterans Home. I have with me two brothers. I have Fred Crum and his brother Bert Crum and we are here to visit with Bert about his experience in Vietnam. Bert, we were talking a little bit earlier that you graduated from Omaha in Omaha, Nebraska, and we were wondering why did you choose the Marine Corps? Because dad was in there. Your dad was a Marine? Yeah. And how was uh, mom and dad when you come back and told them you were going to be a Marine? Were they excited? I just wanted to. You just wanted to? Was Dad excited when you told him you're going in the Marine Corps? Yeah. You gotta speak up though. Did your dad serve in uh, in a wartime, World War II? Or? Yeah, he was in World War II. <coughs> okay. He stays in Alaska, I think, most of the time. So as a Marine, he probably was very proud. I know that uh, once a Marine... Always a Marine. Always a Marine, yes. 
So after you joined, where did you go to boot camp? Did you go to the vacation Paris Islands or did you go to San Diego? Where'd you go? Hmm? Go to San Diego? California? Camp Pendleton? Do you remember where you went to boot camp? It was quite a while ago, probably about eight weeks of, of training. Yeah, I think it was. I don't remember when he came home, he was sure a different person. Yeah? He was more of a hefty man when he came out of the service, or out, out of boot camp. Anyway. Yeah. Before he went. Yeah, they have uh, they have a way of putting some body weight on oh, you. Oh yeah. Some muscle. Yeah. Now you just got weight. <laughs> so where did you go after boot camp? Well, it was in Vietnam. Did a, did the whole platoon? Did most of your folks in your platoon go? So you got a chance to train together and then go over overseas together. Did you get a lot of care packages while you were over there from mom? Cookies and pepperonis. Mom wasn't around when he went into the Marine Corps. She came around uh, after he got hurt, and she spent some time with him in uh, California when he was in the hospital when he brought him back. And that's pretty all I really, I don't know too much more about that because I wasn't there. You might. You know, with my mom and my, and our sister was what they both went out there to see him. You know. But I I didn't think of where I was. Anyway, I thought I was in Omaha. Yeah. But uh, it was, that's pretty much what happened there. And my mom, she didn't really have much to do with this. <coughs> so we kind of just held each other and our dad. Yeah. So, Bert, I know that you, uh, you were injured a couple times and decorated for your injuries. Uh, before we go into that, are there some times that you remember that you had fun, that you enjoyed your company with your uh, with your platoon, or can you think of some times where you that you remember that were you're fond of? Some happy times over there. Well, can we hear some of them? Do you keep do you keep in touch with any of your buddies, your comrades? Not right now? Don't go to sleep. Do you remember when you were injured? Do you remember what happened there? And where was that at? Do you remember where that location was in country? Were you guys on a mission when the firefight happened? Was there some specific place you guys were going, you and your, your fellow Marines? Not 
talk. You don't want to talk about it? You look like you're a little bit tired today, and that's absolutely okay. It's absolutely okay. Do you uh, remember any of the um, the first time that you were wounded? Do you remember how that was that during that firefight? How did that take place? Well, let's talk a little bit about, and if and we always can come back to that. Um, I know that we have Dave here, who helps you out a lot. Um, what uh, what's life like at for you right now? I mean, what kind of fun things do you do? I understand you're an Elvis Presley fan. <laughs> what's your favorite Elvis Presley song? G.I. Blue. Yeah, I love the movie. I love the movie. I love all the songs in that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have some uh, Elvis movies that you get to watch? Yeah, you got a few. Also. Yeah. Uh, and I understand when we. Women, though. What's that? Elvis. Yeah. The women all liked him, didn't they? Yeah. Well, it's been about my age if he's still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was a soldier, wasn't he? Yeah. Over in Germany. And I think he, uh, from what I understand, he was a good soldier. Good soldier. Mm -hmm. I know you are. Pretty good hound dog. Yeah. Hound dog, yeah. He was a hound dog, and you're a bulldog, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a devil dog. What else do they call Marines? Leathernecks. Jarhead. Hey, you gotta say something. Do you remember when you, uh, when you left for Vietnam, do you remember arriving in the country? How, how that, uh, when I talk to some of the veterans, um, the jungle stands out because it just, it was like its own adversary every day. Did you spend time in the jungle? So you, you got a chance to get acclimated in Okinawa? Yeah. Yeah. What was neat about Okinawa? It's a small island. Small island, beautiful girls? <laughs> yeah. Well, that at least gets you smiling, huh? <laughs> yeah. What was that training like? Pretty hot?
Do you remember how long it was? How long was it? Where? Remember how long you had to be in Okinawa? How long was you in Okinawa? Do you remember how long you were in Okinawa before you went to Vietnam? Hey, I wake up to I think his medicine making him a little drowsy. Yeah, it does. Yeah, certainly understandable. Oh, I know. If Elvis Presley was on TV, he'd be awake. <laughs> yeah, he would. I like Elvis's movie with the race cars. I can't remember the name of it, but when he's a race car driver. visit him when we used to take him out and he'd go around and drive around town. Well, I thought to get him in my pickup truck. This was pretty tough, wasn't it? Remember that? We got you in the pickup truck? Hurt? When, remember when I come visit you when he's at the old place and I tried to load you up in my pickup and your pants fell down? <laughs> you remember? We both sitting there laughing, <laughs> he just chuckling like a big old... <laughs> the, uh, he was laughing. We got him in, but that was our last trip. <laughs> I couldn't do that no more. But I didn't want him, because he had a helmet on at that time. He still had his plate in his head. And, yeah. And we, don't, we didn't do it anymore after that. So, I'll I bet your pickup truck be fun driving. Yeah, it was. That brings back when you were kids, going down the road? Right. Yeah. You and I weigh close to 300 pounds. No. Really? Yeah, no. Back my old fighting weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I remember the old fighting days. I never got the good end of that. One thing, he's one of the toughest guys I know. Yeah. Would well, he have to be all that Marine Corps training? And all the stuff he has to go through to get where he's at. Yeah. So, how you feel today? Is today a good day for Fred to go get the truck? Want to go get the truck and put you in the truck? What? <laughs> you want me to go get the truck and put you in the truck like we did before? <laughs> yeah, I think you remember that. <laughs> I slid on the ice. Oh, we really did slid on the ice. We did slid out of the truck. It wasn't cold that day, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, that was a day. 
It was a fun day, wasn't it? He used to go to movies all the time also when, when he would still walk. Yeah. Uh, and we saw this one movie, I can't remember what movie it was, but we were walking down the hallway after the show was over. And we're talking, he was walking, and all of a sudden he wasn't there. He fell down back behind me. I couldn't, he's laughing, laying there like a turtle. <laughs> laughing. We both started laughing. Got him up and off we go. It was fun. We always went to movies, didn't we? Huh? Well, it's kind of neat that you have so many people that are around you and got a chance to get to know you and care so much and have fun being with you. How about card games? you do any card games at all? or? No, we never did. Because I heard those Marines can play a mean game of Pinochle. Well, when he got done, I uh, got out of there. Well, I didn't really see him much after he got out of training. Uh, I was in a boys' home, so he uh, uh, had a beer with me, too. Uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. I'm sorry. No, that's absolutely all right. You were mentioning that uh, you were in the the boy's home, so you didn't get to see him that much, oh, yeah, and then when he got out. Until he got out, and then that's when I've seen him more often. Yeah. But then he was over in Vietnam so long, and didn't really get to see him. I wrote him a lot, letters and stuff. He always wrote letters to me and telling me it's just hot. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I remember him telling me it's just hot. The jungle. It was just hot and wet. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's one of the uh, things they had in the movies where it's just all hot all the time. Yeah. That and raining. Yeah, always. all the time. I can't say so because I was never there. Yeah. Well, it looks like you guys have grown pretty close over the years, too. So oh, yeah, we yeah. have. What a blessing. I've been, yeah, I've been following him around. Well, not, I've been around the country, but I've always made time to come and see him all the time. Mm -hmm. I live in Arkansas. We came up about every, other, every two months to come visit him and see how he is. Yeah. Been doing that for quite a few years now. Well, Bert, if you had anything to share to people that get a chance to, to get to know you from your video, is there any message that you would share about your service? Just join up. Just join up? Would you do it again? Yeah, if I knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Well, that's certainly understandable. But just join up. I'll tell you, there's a lot of people that don't, and we thank you very much for your service. I'm very proud of our Marines and our soldiers and sailors and airmen and those Coasties. Got to throw them in there. I think it's a rule. So, But, yeah. Well, if you think of anything else or if there's another day that you would like to come out and us visit, we certainly can do that. We can always add to this video. Dave, would you like to share some? I'd like to, Bert. So you and I have known each other probably at least 15 years, right? Yeah. 15, 20 years. And I've been your guardian for almost 10, right? And since I was your guardian, you've done some amazing things for people, haven't you? Right? Let's talk about that a little bit, Bert. Some of the great things you've done. Because you're very generous, right? Are you a very generous guy? Do you like doing things for people? Yes. So let's talk about one of the first things you did. Let's talk about how the Veterans Memorial here at Norfolk, at the Vets Home, they were putting it all together and they needed to have some donations and you donated some money out of your, out of your funds to help that be completed, right? And what did they do to recognize your donation? What did they do for you to recognize your donation to the 
Norfolk Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Did they make something and put your name on it? Yeah? Yeah. What did they put your name on that is outside the vet's home? What is it? Something you sit on, right? Bench. They put a bench with your name on it, right? Your dates of service, so you did that. And then they also needed to have some a flagpole in the back, right? Yeah. And so you donated some money and they put a flagpole on the back. And they put a plaque at the base of the flagpole that has your name on it, right? Now let's talk about where you spent probably at least seven years of your life, the Norfolk or the Omaha Home for Boys. Yeah. Yeah. You have a lot of good memories from that, right? And and so probably about five years ago you wanted to do something for the boys home correct and what did you what did you do for the boys home give them a flagpole well you you a gave a bench a, you got a bench the flagpole's here at the vets home yeah but at the omaha home for boys you donated some money for what purpose the boys would go out for a scholarship. Correct. Right. And so you donated enough money so there's a perpetual scholarship that will go on forever. Correct? Yeah. And in recognition of your very generous donation, they put a bench in a very special place at the boys' home. Overlooking Inspiration Hill. Yeah. Inspiration Hill, and that looks out to the east over all of Omaha, right? Yeah. And so there's a bench with your high school photo on it and the dates you were at the boys' home, correct? Mm -hmm. And you're really proud of those donations, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So you've been very generous. And you're thinking about doing a donation to the Omaha or Nebraska Vietnam Veterans War Memorial. Correct? You and I have been talking about that. So, very generous, aren't you, Bert? Yep. You've been through a lot. Is there any quit in Bert? No. No, no quit in Bert. Tough guy. Yep. And you like, you've enjoyed your time here at the Veterans Home because they all love you, don't they? Yeah. And they all know who you are. And you're one of the big personalities here, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. A lot of people care about you. So, and and f about six years ago now, you had your 70th birthday, right? And do you remember how we finally got all your medals? Yeah. And and you were pretty proud that when all those came in, right? Because they had been missing for years. Yeah. So, anyway. Well, um, you're a proud Marine, is that right? It's good. Have any of the Marines come by to visit you? Bert, you get visits, don't you? From other Marines? Chris is involved with the volunteer part. And you get you get people come visit you fairly often, don't you? In fact, you've got kids that'll write ni nice notes to you on Veterans Day, and they do recognition for that, don't they? Yeah. Every year. So, are you getting hungry? What would you like for lunch? Pizza. What kind of pizza? Pepperoni. From where? Godfather. That's good, because it's coming up. <laughs> All right? All right, Bert. I don't mean to step in and ask more questions, but I thought it was important that yeah. you tell how, how you've been very generous. Yeah. And you recently had cataract surgery, right? And you can see well now. 
What's the next big thing that we have planned after your birthday? What are we going to do? Now that you've had your eyes done and after your birthday this coming spring, what's the plan? Go to Omaha. Go to Omaha, right? And we're going to, what are we going to see in Omaha? Zoo. The zoo is your favorite place, isn't it? Yeah. The zoo, the boys' home. See how big Omaha's gotten? One of the first times we went to the zoo, we, we went through the jungle there, didn't we? And you told me something. What does that remind you of? What did the jungle remind you of? Might be a now. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because it's hot. Smell and hot, right? Yeah. So we haven't gone back there because you don't need to see that again, right? <laughs> you like the aquarium. And what are the other things that you saw that are really cool? The big animals. You kick your butt. Yeah. But what did you see? What did you get to feed at the zoo? The behind the scenes. Big long neck. What did you feed? Giraffe. You fed a giraffe. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Fed him lettuce. So we're going to try and do that again, right? That's pretty cool. And the elephants were there too. Yeah. Yeah. So Bert, when, when you and I have to go to doctor's appointments and we're waiting around, there's a saying that you have. What do you tell me? This reminds me of something. And I ask you, what does it remind you of, Bert? And you say, Military. Yeah? And why? Hurry up and wait. <laughs> Hurry up and wait, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then occasionally things don't go as planned, right? Someone doesn't do their job correctly. And I've asked you, Bert, if you didn't do your job as a Marine, what would happen? They'd kick your behind. <laughs> That's right. So you got some good memories, right? Are you in a happy place right now? Feeling good? Yeah. Okay. Good. Anything else you want to say? Okay. Well, Bert, thank you very much for sharing. Dave, thank you very much for giving us some uh, ideas because you know Bert so well. It's very neat. Thank you. Uh, Fred, before we uh, sign off, would you sit with your brother a little closer and hold up his medals there? Sure. And uh, that way I'd like to zoom in on the two of you and that. Tell me where that. And okay. just tilt it towards me just a little bit more. There you go. It's quite a bit of hardware there. Yes, it is. Right, thank you very much. And we are done. <laughs>